Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Pre Perara, and I am the United States Attorney for the Southern District of New York. Today we unseal a superseding indictment that chronicles a level of gang violence not seen in this district for some time. The indictment describes a highly organized criminal machine that ruthlessly guarded its turf, blithely murdered its rivals, and brutally punished even its own members for any transgression of arbitrary gang rules. As alleged, that criminal machine, the Trinitarios gang based in the Bronx, went to war against competing gangs and turned portions of New York City into a virtual shooting gallery. The catalog of crimes alleged in the indictment today is stunning. Nine murders, 24 attempted murders, racketeering, robbery, assault, firearms offenses, trafficking in cocaine, crack cocaine, powder cocaine, both, illegal prescription drugs, and marijuana. You name it, and they did it. Now, today's indictment is actually the second uh, in connection with the Bronx Trinitarios. The first indictment, unsealed almost exactly a year ago, charged 50 members and associates of the Bronx Trinitarios with racketeering, narcotics, and firearms offenses. More than half of those defendants have already pled guilty. But our work was not done, and so that is what brings us to this point today. The new indictment that we are all here to talk about today charges 14 of the original defendants with more serious crimes and 26 new defendants. So 40 in total are charged today, and if you count both cases together, uh, we have charged with our law enforcement partners now 76 members and associates of the Trinitarios uh, gang. And then if you add in what we have done with respect to the Manhattan Trinitarios gang, uh, with 43 charges there, the total with respect to this gang is 119. And so early this morning, more than 200 agents and officers swept through the city to effect those arrests, and most of the people who are newly charged are now in custody, although a few remain at large. As I mentioned, and as the indictment describes, the bulk of the violence by the Trinitarios was aimed at rival gangs, including the Bloods, the Crips, Latin Kings, and also gangs known as Dominicans Don't Play, and the FOBs. And as you might expect, when a neighborhood becomes a war zone, innocents get caught in the crossfire, as happened here. As alleged, the Trinitarios gang was highly organized with a strong leadership structure. The lead defendant is Leonides Sierra, who is accused of being the national leader of the gang and actually uh, is accused of directing the violent operations for a time of that gang from inside of Attica prison. And as is also a part of the public record, he was charged by our office with our partners uh, last year, just weeks away from having a parole hearing on his state case. As alleged under Sierra, the Trinitarios enforced its own rules with brutality and with ruthlessness. In one episode described in the indictment, Sierra ordered the murder of one of his gang's own members simply because he was believed to be homosexual. That apparently was a violation of the Trinitarios Code, and apparently also, according to that code, a capital offense. Most of the time, however, the Trinitarios directed their brutality, as I mentioned, against rival gang members, and as described, played out scene after scene of young men being executed in the street. The indictment, as I said, charges nine murders and 24 attempted murders between 2004 and 2011. If you just take a look quickly at the, uh, at the chart to my, to my right, this chart essentially is a map of mayhem, the mayhem that we alleged in the current indictment that was wrought by members and associates of the Trinitarios gang. In red, you see the number of, of uh, instances and locations of those instances of, of murder, and in blue, the 24 instances of attempted murder, and you'll see most of it occurred uh, in the Bronx, but there were a couple of incidents in Yonkers and a couple in Washington Heights. And that is what we allege that this gang wrought. Uh, of the nine murder victims, five were teenagers. Rafi Tavares, Irving Cruz, and Freddy Polanco were all murdered in 2010. They were each just 19 years old. Izzy Dominguez was murdered in 2009. He was 17. And Kashawn Phillips was murdered in 2005. He was just 16. When gangs proliferate, neighborhoods suffer, communities disintegrate, and children die. Unless you like jail or death, there is no reason 
to have anything to do with these gangs. Now, today's charges remind us that the gangs of New York are alive and well, but that we are dedicated to extinguishing each and every one of them one by one. With today's takedown, the Trinitarios may not yet be extinct, but they are, without question, an endangered species. And if you just look at the array of law enforcement agencies assembled here today, you know that we are absolutely committed to this cause because no one here wants to allow even one small step backward to the gang wars of the 1990s, and no one here wants our city to end up like some others recently that have seen startling spikes in violence because gangs have gone unchecked. That will not happen in New York City. Now let me end by acknowledging and thanking the many members of the law enforcement gang that helped to take down the Trinitarios. Uh, from the New York Police Department, represented by Commissioner Ray Kelly, I want to thank Chief uh, Anthony Izzo, uh, Chief Teresa Shortell, Captain James Kenny, and Lieutenant Keith Coughlin of the Bronx Gang Squad, and NYPD Detectives Paul Jesselson, John Urena, and Peter Alfonso. From the DEA, represented by Brian Crowell, Special Agent in Charge of the New York Field Division, I want to also acknowledge and thank DEA Special Agent Bill Melodic. Uh, from the ATF, which is also an incredibly important partner here, represented by Special Agent in Charge Joseph Anarumo, ATF Special Agent Andrew Dar. From ICE's Homeland Security Investigations, represented by uh, Anthony Scandifio, Deputy Special Agent in Charge of the New York Office. I want to recognize Supervisory Special Agent Joseph Lestrange and Agent Christopher DeGregorio. I also want to thank Joe Guccione, the U.S. Marshal, and his team for his efforts, the New York State Department of Correctional Services, and the officers and detectives of the city of, of Yonkers Police Department. Uh, finally, I want to thank the dedicated career prosecutors in my office for their consistently outstanding work in doggedly pursuing all of these cases. They are Assistant U.S. Attorneys Nola Heller, Jessica Ortiz, Rachel Maiman, and Sarah Krisoff, who are led by uh, their chiefs in the Violent Crimes Unit, Margaret Garnett, and Todd Blanche. And so with that, let me call to the podium uh, our friend and partner, Ray Kelly, the Commissioner of the New York City Police Department. <coughs> uh, <coughs> thank you, Preet. I, too, want to uh, thank and uh, recognize uh, Chief Anthony Izzo of Organized Crime Control Bureau and Chief Terry Shortell, who was our commander of our uh, gang division and other members of the gang division for the great job that they did on this case, along with all the members of law enforcement here. Uh, when this case started uh, last year, uh, we were not surprised that uh, the Trinitarios were up to no good in the Bronx. But the bad Barbies, who knew? Uh, apparently, it is a sign that gender is no bar when it comes to the crimes of robbery or murder or other serious offenses. Uh, for example, uh, Maria Mejia the leader of the Bad Barbies, is charged with murder in aid of racketeering in connection with the stabbing of a Crips gang member at a McDonald's on Jerome Avenue uh, in the Bronx in 2005. She also was charged with luring a robbery victim to the front of a Mexican bar where he was shot. That happened in the Bronx last June. It's estimated that at any given time, there are as many as 100 female members of the Trinitarios. The violence among men and women alike is frequently directed at rival gangs, including the Crips and the Dominicans Don't Play. Not to mention the internecine violence among various Trinitario members and subgroups themselves. That was until the detectives, the agents, and the, the prosecutors, in this case, interceded. interceded in a very uh, proactive and aggressive way. They have been tenacious. Uh, they didn't rest on their laurels last December after they arrested, as Preet said, 50 gang members and seized dozens of guns in the process. Instead, they succeeded in securing profits which led to the indictment of 40 more in this case. Their relentless pursuit of the Bronx-based Trinitarios is paying off. The number of shooting incidents and shooting victims year to date in the Bronx down by 6%, the number of murders down by 23%. Undoubtedly, there will be more young men and women attracted to life of crime, just as there will be more takedowns to follow. But by being persistent over the last decade, the NYPD, together with our federal partners and prosecutors, 
have helped make New York safer each year and help make New York the safest big city in America. So, Preet, thank you and thank you for inviting me. Thank you, Commissioner. Now let me call the podium uh, Special Agent in Charge of the New York DEA Office, Brian Crown. Thank you, United States Attorney Bahara. This operation for us was the third phase of a joint agency takedown which started five years ago. The organization brought to the table the problems that grab our attention the most. They were involved in racketeering, homicide, drug trafficking, gun crime, and violence. And this is textbook on how a violent drug gang ruins the lives of good citizens just trying to live in their neighborhoods, trying to get to and from work or school, and enjoying their freedoms. And any organization that creates an element of fear and intimidation on our streets for our citizens will receive all of our attention. We allege today that members of the Bronx Trinitarios gang were a significant threat to the quality of life for citizens in the Marble Hill, Heath Avenue, Grand Concourse, and Kingbridge, all located in the Bronx. While committing crimes such as murder, threats of violence, drug trafficking, and gun possession, the Bronx Trinitarios gang operated as, operated as if the neighborhoods were their territory. It's our territory, and it belongs to our communities. Our team of prosecutors, detectives, investigators, and agents infiltrated their ranks and has charged another 40 gang members, as you've heard, to put them out of business. This gang's drug trafficking, it ranged from illegally diverted prescription drugs to hundreds of pounds of marijuana to selling significant amounts of street-level cocaine, crack cocaine, and heroin. I highly commend the dedicated investigators on this team that put this gang out of business. They've done a steadfast job on behalf of the public and the folks that live in these neighborhoods. I'd like to thank all of our law enforcement partners uh, that we worked with on this investigation. It's really always an honor for the men and women of the DEA to work with them in this ongoing Joint Force Task Force, Joint Task Force investigation. Thank you. Thanks, Brian. Let me call the podium. Um, the Special Agent in Charge of the ATF New York Office, Joe Anarumo. Thank you, Preet. Good afternoon. This investigation is a prime example of what law enforcement can accomplish when we work together. Share information and move forward with a targeted approach as to who we investigate based on the level of violence, fear, and damage that these organizations bring upon the community. The Trinitarios gang has been preying on New Yorkers for nearly a decade, and they needed to be stopped. They have been charged with murder, racketeering, narcotics, and firearms violations. Today you see the result of a many months of investigation that brought us to this indictment and the subsequent arrests. Through this targeted approach, law enforcement has put this criminal enterprise out of business. I applaud the hard work of the agents, detectives, officers, prosecutors, and in particular, the undercover operatives who spent a great deal of time on this project. They put themselves in harm's way to rid our city of these armed and dangerous criminals. They were on the front line of our war against violent crime, and I say to them, job well done. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Joe. And then finally, uh, Anthony Scandifio from uh, uh, Homeland Security Investigations at ICE. Good afternoon. Thank you, Pre. We are very pleased with the success of today's operation against the Trinitarios gang, which led to the arrest of numerous individuals, their members, and their leaders. As a result of today's operation, these individuals will now face justice for multiple gang-related murders and gang assaults, among other charges. Since November 2010, HSI's Violent Gang Unit has participated in this investigation against the Trinitarios, in conjunction with the DEA, NYPD, Bronx Gang Squad, and the ATF. This collaborative effort has resulted in the arrest of more than 60 gang members and indictments for various federal racketeering, narcotics, and firearms-related offenses. HSI investigates many federal crimes, which include drug trafficking, human trafficking, money laundering, counterfeiting. But we recognize that transnational criminal street gangs represent a significant threat to public safety in communities throughout the United States. In 2005, ICE initiated Operation Community Shield, an international law enforcement initiative that combines Homeland Security investigations expansive statutory and civil enforcement authorities to combat the growth and proliferation of transnational criminal street gangs, prison gangs, 
and outlaw motorcycle gangs throughout the United States. I would like to congratulate all the agencies who participated in this case. Our city streets are safer today because of the work of all the agents involved in this case and the New York City Police Department. I'd like to especially thank, uh, congratulate Supervisor Special Agent Joseph Lestrange, Special Agent Chris DiGregorio of HSI, along with all the members of DEA, ATF, and the NYPD Bronx Gang Squad. My particular thanks to U.S. Attorney Preet Bharara and his outstanding team of prosecutors. Without the tireless support of the federal prosecutors, these arrests and indictments would not be possible. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Anthony. And now we're happy to take any questions you might have. Bruce. Uh, there are there are I think 27 people who are charged in today's indictment who are death eligible. And there's, as you know, uh, a process that occurs within the Justice Department. And so I can't comment on that right now. But there are 27 people who are technically death eligible. Yeah. Uh, I'll let someone else answer that in the, in, the, in the absolute, but I'll just tell you in our experience, uh, you know, given the kinds of cases that we bring, we have not seen in, as I said, quite some time, we haven't gone back to the record books, but we have not seen in quite some time a case where we are able to charge nine murders and 24 attempted murders and, you know, assaults and robberies on top of all of that. And, you know, uh, that gives you some sense given how hard we work and how aggressively we work with lots of different agencies. When we're able to bring a case like this, the likes of which we haven't seen in a long time, it's, uh, it's a pretty violent gang. <clears throat> Certainly one of them. I don't think we're going to rate them, but uh, it's a violent gang and has been violent for a decade. Yeah. I'm not going to say what's beyond the indictment unless the commissioner has something he wants to add. It's not. It's not in. It's. It's not in the indictment, so I, I can't go there. I, mean, I, think, I think it's made clear in the indictment. It's not in great detail. There are sub. There are factions of the group, like there are in many gangs and many organizations. Sometimes they get along. Sometimes they don't. And sometimes there's warring between and among them. And some of those are laid out in the in the indictment, but a lot of it is not. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>